Welcome to Frywall Fridays. Today we're making tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is an input to a lot of our recipes and usually we go to our standby which is Marcella Hazan's uh, tomato sauce and we love it. Uh, but today we're making a different one from my new favorite uh, cook, Jose Andres. This recipe, instead of using butter, uses olive oil and also garlic. The flavor is a little bit richer, a little bit more caramelized, and I think Mary's may be a little bit better with vegetables like beans. We're gonna serve it today over pasta, but really it goes with almost anything. Our ingredient list couldn't be much easier. We have a can of tomatoes, and I've chopped those roughly, and I've separated out the tomato juice. We have three cloves of garlic, very good quality olive oil, and then some Spanish pimenton, or you can use smoked paprika. We're gonna add that at the end just to add a little extra jolt of flavor. I have a quarter cup of olive oil heating up over medium high heat, and to that I'm gonna add my cloves of garlic. These are gonna cook up for about three minutes, just until they get uh, a slight uh, golden color, and then they're gonna come out. The garlic looks great, so I'll go ahead and remove that, and next we're going to add the chopped tomatoes. I'll just lay them right in there. I'm not gonna stir them too much because I want them to cook without breaking down at this stage. They're gonna go like this for about three minutes and then I'll give them a stir and let another side get nice and caramelized. That looks great. I'm gonna give it a stir and let it cook again for several minutes and we'll repeat this another two times or so. The tomatoes have been frying for about 15 minutes at this point and I'm gonna crush them so a little more sauce-like and add just a little bit of the reserved tomato juice, maybe a quarter of a cup or so, give it a stir, and we're gonna cook this over low heat for about an hour, uh, checking back every 10 minutes or so to give a stir, and if the pan gets too dry, we'll add uh, some more liquid. We're about halfway through the cooking process. I wanna taste it right now to just adjust the saltiness and sweetness. Um, I think that needs just a little bit of salt. We'll add about a quarter teaspoon of salt and maybe a, a half teaspoon of sugar here. Give it a nice stir and we'll, let, we'll continue letting it cook for about another half hour. At this point, the sauce looks perfect. It's thick, but not quite as thick as a paste. This is ready to come off the flame. Can't wait to put some pasta in here and have a taste. Now, there's probably gonna be enough here for two people. I'd rather have it be rich and flavorful than have it be too dilute. Jose Andre's amazing tomato sauce on pasta.